Hey everyone, this is me, Lady Infamous 415, Grown Women Gaming, Intermediate Gaming. And, uh, Happy New Year, all that good shit. I hope that everything went well on your holidays, you got what you wanted, and you had fun. Well, I did alright, I had got the flu, so I really didn't do any videos within the last week. I was sick as fuck. But I'm back, and we're gonna get right to it. With Scalebound being cancelled, um, personally, as a gamer, I hate to see games that look visually stunning as Scalebound being cancelled, and I sympathize with the people that were really going to get that game and play the shit out of it, but really didn't get a chance to, um, but you guys have to understand that people is, is, the consumer is, I mean, it's like, can't really do anything to change the circumstances of that game. It's something between Microsoft and the game that got sold. I mean, I'm sorry. It's between Microsoft and the production company. Um, some shit went down that we do not know about, and that's how shit happens with games. Um, with AAA games, it's big budget. You have a lot of man hours and linguistics that we as a consumer of playing video games don't know so people just gotta understand that and uh, pour out a 40 for that game and go on to the next one I hope that Microsoft will do something different or have a, another new IP coming up later down the year to replace Scalebound I do not know but you know Microsoft has like um something in their back pocket. I hope so. I'm thinking. I hope so. <laughs> um, next up is the Nintendo Switch. Um, I knew, I thought the price range was going to be like 250 for what I saw in the first reveal. Um, they showed a couple of games and they showed um, the console and you know the price. 299 I'm like, are you, s and then it has like 32, uh, it, it has low memory, um, that, that, that would, that would get me, it's not a really, the Nintendo system, it's at this day and age, you have to have a system that has a lot of gigabytes, um, maybe it's different with Nintendo, but I think 32 is a little low for Nintendo, maybe it'd be, um, Maybe be like at least I mean for Nintendo I thought that at least gigabytes would at least be like a hundred, but then you have to put into account how many titles they have and but thirty two is just a little low. The price is a little too high. Um, but you got these diehard um diehard Nintendo fans. I got I know a few of them. I'm and I cannot um I can't I can't like kick kick their, you know, kick their shine, because that's something that they really want, and you know, me as a gamer, I'm going to respect that, but just personally, me, I'm not getting the Nintendo Switch, uh, it's just too many cons in that, and I, I just don't think it's going to, uh, work for me, and also they said it was going to be limited edition, I mean, not limited edition, but like, uh, it was going to be limited, uh, like, a limited amount getting pushed out first, now that was like really fucked up for me because they should have learned their mistake with the Nintendo retro thing with the the uh the OG Nintendo mini with the 30 games it wasn't a lot they didn't release a, a enough of it and people were grabbing it and they were flipping it for like more like maybe three to, three four five times more of the you know actual price and you had like employees grabbing like Motherfuckers from GameStop and motherfuckers from Best Buy was like, oh, employees grabbed like one or two of those before they even pushed them out into the streets. You know what I mean? Um, that's going to be a problem because I know that Nintendo is like a sweet hustle if you want to get down to it because it's a family, it's a family console. You know, it's for the kids and, you know, it's more kids oriented for Nintendo. So, they're going to grab on that, and you have also the the true diehard Nintendo fans that's going to grab them up. 
But I told all my people that wanted to get a Nintendo, you better get that shit now before they flip it later. Um, let's see, what else? I'm checking out my notes. <sighs> Mm, the Microsoft, um, shout out to Mama Sita, um, she put me on this information that there's going to be a, a luncheon for Microsoft, well, for women in gaming, but primarily Microsoft gaming, um, March, March of this year. Um, she showed me the information, I looked them up, registration doesn't start till the 20th, till the 2nd of February. I'm going to try to get myself registered. So I can be able to network and to learn more about what's going on in the world of gaming. So cross my fingers on that. I mean, it'll be great just to experience that. Um, like I said, I stay in the Bay Area, so I want to. There's a lot of tech stuff there and a lot of game-oriented stuff there. If I can be able to go to all of them, I will. So our first goal will be uh, the gaming luncheon. A Microsoft Gaming Lunch in, on March the 2nd, and we're going to see what we're going to do with that. Uh, cross my fingers on that. Okay. Red Dead 2, I, I played, They. I think the, the launch date for Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be October of 2017. I think it's October the 2nd. I am excited about this game. The story mode on Red Dead 1 was amazing to me. The open world atmosphere was awesome. You can um, dip off from the main storyline and do other shit. Um, the online mode was good in the beginning. In the beginning it was great. It was Team Deathmatch and Horde mode and you can be in the town and be 20 motherfuckers there. You know what I mean? That shit was good. I cannot wait for this game. This Red Dead 2 will be a day one buy for me. Best believe it. And if you haven't played uh, Red Dead Redemption, I strongly suggest that you play that game and if you're a, a type of person that's like westerns as well that game will be good for you just letting you know okay another um okay I, okay um okay this year we will do more conventions we will and okay I'm thinking I, I want to go to E3 in July I think that's in July um, but TwitchCon is in October. Um, one's in LA, E3's in LA, uh, TwitchCon is in, uh, Long Beach. Um, I'm thinking, um, should I go to E3 or should I go to TwitchCon? Because I am, I do Twitch on YouTube, um, but E3 is so massive. And, you know, you, you have more opportunities to network with E3. Um, I don't know, but they're it, first of all they're both expensive. Um, but I think that E3 is more expensive than TwitchCom, and I can be able to save up money to be able to get those things done. You know what I mean? So I'm really I might just scrap E3 and just go straight and just save up a little more and spend a little more time working and do a full-on experience at TwitchCom. And I know a lot of uh, people, well, not a lot of people, but I know people that I follow on Twitch, and I know they're going to be there, and I know people that sees me on Twitch, and I need to be there. Um, if you guys think about, what's, what would you rather go if you were me, E3 or TwitchCom, write in the comments below. Okay. Um... 500 subscriber go giveaway. Mm. We are at ugh, my hair. I, my hair can never be like normal from one video. Um, I have 446 subscribers on my channel, and I really appreciate that. Um, we're going close to 500, and you know what that means. It's going to be giveaway time. Now, my last giveaway was the uh, gift box with some items for a game for it was for Mel and it since that went so well I'm going to do another gift box so when you first you first guys you have to like like this video and comment on the video it's important that you like and comment on the video
so when I put like I got it like a generator app so I can put the link of this video into the app and press random and the name will pop up so if you don't comment on the video you do not enter in the giveaway because it only goes by the comments um you will get a personal gift box from me and what I will do is I will find a way to reach you and then we're gonna we're gonna um correspond and see and I'm gonna get to know you a little bit and see what you like see what you don't like and things of that nature and I will personally pick out things put them in a box have a handwritten note and I'm gonna send it to you um I, you know as a way of saying you know one that I'm going up there with um views and subscribers which I thank you very much for, for the bottom of my heart I really appreciate it we moving up there we moving up there and then you know you always got to show love you have to as I don't you have to show love and show appreciation for your people that really look at your videos and really support your shit and I think that a cute gift basket with cute ass shit or awesome shit is great I mean it's I mean nothing wrong with a, a gift card to Xbox or a gift card to PlayStation but like a personal gift box from your from that subscribe from that YouTube content creator I think it's more heartwarming and you know thoughtful so now um other than doing these conventions and stuff like that and luncheons and stuff I also have to upgrade my equipment my mic can't my mic crap died on me so like I gotta like hood rig my mic so I can be able to hear and play also um we also gonna get a PlayStation 4 in the future I keep saying that but we're gonna continue to work on that hopefully by the summertime I have it maybe sooner oh, I thought I'm gonna think of it was oh, I'm not gonna sneeze um also the next game that we will be get, getting is Resident Evil 7 hopefully if I can be able to pay for the uh, registration for the luncheon and that will be the only thing I'll get is the game oh I gotta get gold so we might get um, Valentine's Day maybe around that time I'll get Resident Evil 7 because I just find I just thought about I have to get gold so uh, during like the beginning of the month we'll play uh, Resident Evil 7 Naruto is not helping me in excuse me not helping me uh in my in my streams adventures because for some reason Naruto don't want to stream for me anymore on Twitch. I tried it like plenty of times. <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to tr what I'm going to try to do is try to make a video um I'm going to try to do something towards I'm trying to get content on that, like maybe get some clips together of the last part of Naruto and show it to you guys instead. But I've been trying for a week to try to stream Naruto and I cannot do it. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by. I think, I mean, because I covered everything. I Yeah, I covered everything. Um, now your girl got PayPal. Let's keep it real and 100 with y'all. Y'all is you know me. I in the beginning I told you guys that I was gonna monetize my videos and I, I'm keeping my word. I'm not monetizing my videos. But my dream is to be able to do this as a living. I have to start somewhere. Um in the link below you're gonna see a PayPal account. If you don't want to, I'm not I'm not encouraging nobody to do it. I'm just letting you know it's there. If you want to support your girl, that's fine. Nothing nothing will change from the content of what I'm giving you. I'm just letting you know if you want to show your girl some love, there's a link down below. And hope that that money that you guys will donate to me will go towards equipment. It will go towards games. That's it. Equipment, games. Equipment, games. Any other shit that I need, I can get it myself because I got a job. But as far as the that PayPal account is for is for strictly items of gaming. Um and that's all I can say. Let me see who went in the game. Oh New England is fucking beating the shit out of the Titans. Um I want them to beat New England. So 
I'm gonna go finish playing. I'm gonna go finish watching this playoff game. This is me, Lady Infamous 415, Grown Women Gaming, IntermediateGaming.com, and I'll see you in. I'll see you probably tomorrow. Tomorrow. I was gonna stream today, but I'm gonna stream tomorrow. So enjoy your Saturday. Peace.